What's going on guys, Camp Faisa here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game video. Today we're just hanging out. We're gonna talk about what we know so far with the game. And if you didn't know there's a game coming out, the same developers that made Friday the 13th the game, Gun Interactive, is now working on a Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game multiplayer asymmetrical horror game based after the 1974 movie but this game's a little different. It's leading up to the, it's the months leading up to the game. There's a teaser trailer that's been out for a while. If you haven't seen it, please go back and watch it. I'll put a link down in the description below to their website, txchainsawgame.com. All the information is there. You can't miss a thing. But anyways, that being said, you guys know I'm the number, one of the number one, I'm not the number one, but one of the number one content creators out there that likes to cover this game. That being said, make sure to click notifications to all, like, subscribe, it helps me out. Let's get my channel up to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, that's my goal. Please help out, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I love talking horror movies, uh, video games, all that good stuff here on the channel. So I appreciate you guys. And I wanna do a shout out to my subscribers. The, the sorry, I subscribe. I just talked about subscribers. I want to do a shout out to all my camp members for joining the channel. I appreciate it. If you guys are looking to help support directly to the channel and become a monthly paid member and you get exclusive member only videos and a bunch more, I'll put a link in the description below and I thank you guys. Uh, before I dive into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, what we know so far, I know I already showed this to you guys, but I want to re-show it because it's freaking awesome. My friend Josh that I met in Texas uh, he, he made this Jason Takes Manhattan screen accurate hawk. Look at how awesome this is, you guys. Look at the little green slime on the bottom. Check out the detail on this thing. It's friggin' amazing. I love it. I couldn't be any more happy. Josh Deadman makes amazing hawks. You guys gotta check them out. Friggin' awesome. Um... If you guys didn't realize this, a lot of people on Friday the 13th, the game, their accounts got hacked. I am one of them. I can't play it anymore on PC or, or PlayStation. I can only do offline mode. I don't know what happened, but hackers out there picked so many certain people and, and shut their accounts down. Gun Interactive right now is working on fixing that issue. A lot of people's accounts are back up and running. Mine has been down for weeks now and it really sucks. I contacted jasonkillsbugs.com and I filled out the form and I put a ticket in. So hopefully maybe by this week, my account will be up and running and we can go live again and start live streaming. I love live streaming Friday the 13th, the game. It never gets old. One of my favorite games. And because of Gun Interactive making that game, it brought me to all of you guys. I've met so many cool people, including Josh. Um, that became a reality. You guys also saw on my channel, if you haven't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, trip we took to Texas, there's a three-part series. Go back on my channel and watch it. You guys won't be disappointed. We got to visit all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 filming locations. We met my friend Josh there. He lives uh, about three hours from where we were traveling around in Austin. And it was amazing. It was I'm not even ex over exaggerating. The, the gas station, we got to eat barbecue there, hang out. We went to the main house. Where they, they took the house though. It was located on Quick Hill Road. A long time ago, they were gonna knock the house down, but they gave the house to these people that restored it and moved it about an hour drive away. And now you can go visit the house and you can eat lunch, dinner there, breakfast, it's awesome. We went there, that was an experience. And then we finally went to the main Quick Hill Road where Leatherface does his infamous chainsaw dance. I know this isn't a chainsaw, but it was, you know, Quick Hill Road in Round Rock, Texas. There's not much left there, but it was amazing because we get to see the road, experience it. It's, it's gonna be gone soon. It's pretty depressing that somebody bought the property and they're gonna wipe it out. But anyways, let's get back to the game. I know I'm, I'm talking other stuff right now, but 
the game. What we know so far, it's an asymmetrical multiplayer horror IP game. It's months leading up to 1974. It's 3v4, which is really different now because we got three killers versus four victims. The game is said to be more stealth than it is fighting back. So it's not like Friday the 13th, the game where you got a bunch of counselors running after Jason beating on him with weapons. It's more about I, trying to use your, your each character's stats as a team to work together and try to sneak and try to do what you need to do to get away from the killers, the Sawyers. What we also know is you could be Leatherface, you could be the Hitchhiker, and you could be the Cook, and there's said to be more killers. But that's all we know for those three killers. And we also know there's, they showed a bunch of the characters, the, the, the victims. There's a handful of them. You get to pick any, you can only be one of each though. You can't be multiple of the same character. Like, you know, Friday the 13th, the game, you could be multiple Vanessas on one match. It's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be first come, first serve. That's good in a way, but a little bit bad in a way if you love the character that you, you're trying to work on building up. And um, But it is what it is. So 3v4, uh, I guess you can fight the, the, the killers, but not so much as much as like Friday the 13th. You might be able to fend yourself off if you have to, but that's not really an option you want to take because it won't end well. What we also know is there is the Slaughter Family House that's in the 1974 film. That's the house, it, it's, there's that little map where Quick Hill Road, you get to play that map. There's also the gas station where Drayton Sawyer would do his little cooking over at that gas station there. There's there, then there's the Slaughter Factory. They showed a map of that. The game is also based after a girl named, uh, what's her name? I can't think of it. Um, Maria Flores is a college student that went venturing in Texas to take photographs of the wildflower season. And she went missing and her friends from college decided to go look for her. So the college friends that are going to look for Maria Flores are you guys or us that are playing the victims. That's one of the characters that we get to play. So that's the story of how the game's pushed into the situation with the three killers chasing us around. There's some unique things thrown in, even as much as the little chicken inside the bone room in the house, where I think it's in the cage, and I believe, they called it Nugget the Chicken. You're gonna walk in, and I think it's gonna be a little bit of an alarm, so if you're walking by that chicken and it sees you, it's gonna start going haywire, and I think that's gonna be an alarm to, if you're, say, Leatherface in the upper, room of the house you're gonna hear that and you're gonna be like oh there's a survivor or a victim over there i'm gonna now go into that bone room so it's probably a good idea not to go in there so it's gonna be a very stealth based game i just hope it doesn't get boring because you know stealth is fun for a little while but then you always want to fight back you know that's what kind of what makes friday the 13th the game so fun is you do have that chance to go up and try to beat on jason but then run because I'm not the one that stands around and just beats them over and over. If I have to fight, I will fight. It's an option. I'll take it. You know, but I'm always on the run. I'm always trying to fix the cars, fix the phone fuse, and, and you know, call the cops and get out of there. Uh, but, you know, I don't like to sit around and try to beat on Jason because it never ends well. So in this game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I can't see that really being an option that people would want to do, especially with three killers versus only four victims. This is going to be pretty tricky, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be scary. And so far, the, the music that Wes Keltner from Gun has been working on with the apprehension engine hands-on, it's going to be terrifying. I'm sure Wes has plans to make every nook, corner, hallway, spot we walk through in the field. Everywhere we go, there's going to be a big tension buildup behind and around us, surrounding us. 
This game is probably going to be based more after the music coming after us more than the actual killers. This is going to, I hope and I have a feeling this is going to be a terrifying game. That's what I want. I want to see everyone be scared on their toes instead of this running around being like, hey, let's gang up on the killer, you know, because that's not how it works in the movies. I know it's just a game, it's not a movie, but you want it to be scary. I want that feeling. I want the feeling how I felt when I first started playing Friday the 13th, the game. I remember and I miss it, but now it doesn't feel like that anymore. It's more like a uh, beat fest. So I want Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, to feel very like uncomfortable if you guys haven't seen the original movie from 1974 do yourself a favor right now and go watch it i'm telling you it's a work of art it's not even that gory it's more about um it makes you feel uncomfortable it, it's it's so realistic and, and it's it's actually great it's one of my favorite all-time favorite films that's why i had to go down south to texas and see all these places and now that the game's coming out I'm really diving into the whole thing. It's great, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love this game coming out. And I wish I had more subscribers coming to the channel, you guys. I wish I had more views. I don't understand. Where's the views? I'm here doing this with you guys. I'm bringing everything to you and trying to... I'm, I'm like force-feeding the information to you guys. No one's coming to the channel. Could you guys please help me? Can you help promote the channel let's get some more people here i mean there's i have a few friends that are content creators and they get all these people but i i love the fact that they're getting the attention but i think some of their fans need to to, to check out the other ones you know um i can only do so much i can only force feed so much of my my content to people and you know it gets it's a lot of work it's a lot of work so i would definitely appreciate it um Again, I think that's all I have for today. I, I might be missing a few things, but that's the basic gist of what we got coming to the table with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. Again, they have a website, TXChainsawGame.com. That's Gunn's uh, website. They have all their information over there. So check that out. Uh, but if you want to recap, come to my channel. Every time they do an update, I'm going to post the news here within the day i always try to be on top of it so anyways that being said i want to say thank you so much for watching i appreciate you and as always campers you know what i'm gonna say just just put the chainsaw down <laughs> I, I'm doing you a solid, man. I'm promoting your game with my, my fans. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Jesus. Yep. That, yeah. Stay out of the woods. <laughs>